clovers are widely recognized as specialty forage plants that can increase yield, improve forage quality, and extend the forage season. Clover species are usually grown along with grasses and have the unique ability to convert airborne nitrogen into nitrogen that nourishes other plants. This unique ability to fix nitrogen is due to a bacteria associated with clover roots. Clover seed is often inoculated with these bacteria before being sold. If clover seed has not been inoculated, this step must be done by the farmer or rancher just before planting. When the clovers are growing next to grasses, then the grasses benefit from that nitrogen that the clovers provide. So we get more production out of our grasses in addition to the production of the clover. The clover is our lifesaver for spin involved in, with the grazing it, operation that we do. A grass and clover mixture usually results in higher quality forage than a grass only stand, with the result being a higher level of animal performance. When the heifers uh, are out here grazing, uh, they graze both clover and grass, but the clover provides uh, protein, or more protein that, than the grass does. So it, they work well in combination. We get great uh, results from the cattle. They do much better in, in areas where we've sowed clover. In many situations, a clover can extend the grazing season, and of course it's, uh, it's a very desirable objective to keep the animals grazing as much of the time as possible. The more days we can feed, the less stored feed we have to, to utilize. And basically, if we look at that, it's the uh, bottom line to, pro to profitability. The first step to growing clover successfully is to choose a species that is adapted to the type of soil, drainage conditions, and forage needs of your operation. Perennial clovers, like red or white, are normally grown with perennial grasses, such as tall fescue or orchard grass. Annual clovers, such as crimson or arrowleaf, are normally planted with annual grasses, like ryegrass. You need to really, really know your clovers and grasses and summer grasses and annual cool season grasses and know what will grow on what type of soil. The single most important management factor with clovers uh, is number one to get the soil pH in a proper range for growing clover. For most clovers pH range of about 6 to 6.5 is ideal, although there are some clovers that are exceptions to that. White clover or red clover are usually planted into existing cool season perennial grass pastures. This can be done in either autumn or early spring, depending on geographic location. Annual clovers are often planted on the dormant sod of a warm season perennial grass in autumn. The seed of clovers are relatively small and dense. Uh, it's important to not plant the seed too deeply. Uh, and of course, uh, be because they are small, getting the seeding rate correct uh, can be more difficult than is the case with many grasses. And then we want to select good quality seed. We want to select a variety that's capable of growing in our area and capable of producing. And then we need to seed that at an appropriate time. And we need to seed it in a window that will give us the greatest opportunity for success. Good grazing management is essential when growing clovers. It's important to allow the plants to have a periodic rest from grazing which benefits both the livestock and the pasture. We need to rotationally graze our pasture to get the best results from the standpoint of the most dry matter produced, waste the less amount of feed, use it in a higher quality state, and use it over more days of the year. Everything I try to do here, I want to be somewhat sustainable. All forage-based livestock producers should take the time to consider clovers for their program. Experience shows clovers can make a positive impact on your bottom line. I certainly think that clovers and legumes in general should be a, a very important consideration of every serious-minded forage livestock producer who's in the business to be sustainable and profitable. With the price of uh, nitrogen, clovers are, are really the only way to go. Uh, all of my really profitable cattle uh, grazing has been done with lagoons. I've been planting clover for 25 years. You know, some years are better than others, no doubt. But year in and year out, it's always paid me to plant clover. 
For more information on the science and management of clovers, contact the Oregon Clover Commission. Or you can also put this disc into your computer to access additional resources. To get specific information about this forage crop in your state, visit the USDA website. The concepts expressed in this video are based upon the book Southern Forages.